Fitzy and Whipper. Um, guys, this morning, if you don't mind me uh, just interrupting for a second. Hey, um, Tom. We're doing something special this morning because I've got an, I've got an update which you might be interested okay. in. Okay. I'm going to take you back to June last year when we got this call from one of our listeners, Brendan. When I was 13, I was told I was adopted. And uh, in the last eight years, yeah. I found that I'm one of ten siblings. Oh, oh, wow. I've, I've met three brothers and one sister. Never, never, never met dad. All I've got is a name. Wow. Yeah, right. Okay, shivers. Well, you got to get onto Ancestry.com. We'll see we if we can pull a couple of strings here. Because we'll set up with Ancestry.com, Brendan. We'll yeah. see how we go. Oh, mate, that'd be great. Yeah, so you, boy, do you remember that yeah, one, Tom Brendan? from also, Brendan. Yeah. They've been working very hard behind the scenes to get Brendan a little bit more info now, here's Brad from Ancestry.com. He explains here um, the research that he did to find Brendan's biological father. With Brendan's story, cousin matches were the key to unlocking this mystery. We were able to look at the cousins that he had, work out where they fitted into the family that he knew, and the ones that didn't, they held the key to unlocking the mystery. Brendan joins us on the line now with a very exciting update for you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Brendan, great to chat again, mate. Um, we're, fas- hey. we're fascinated to hear how far you've come with the journey. What's the update? Well, fellas, um, a couple of months ago, I, uh, Ancestry got hold of me mm-hmm. and um, they said they, they did a bit of research and the name that I'd given them wasn't the name um, that sort of came up. Yeah. And they managed through the DNA, mm. tracked down a first cousin of mine. Yeah. And that night, I tracked her down on Ancestry and sent her a, sent her a message and said, listen, I've got some news about your family. Mm. Um, either your dad or one of your uncles is my dad. And uh, she, she messaged me back in half an hour and she said, well, listen, I, I don't think it's my dad, but I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Oh, right. Wow. And she'd give me the phone number. Yep. Of this bloke. Yeah. And um, I sat on it all night. And then next day I was on my way to work and it was about 7, 7.30 in the morning and I thought, no, stuff him. I'm going to ring him and, and get him up. And I said, I just came straight out of it. I said, listen, I'm not going to I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I said, um, I think you're my father. Oh, my gosh. Um, and I, I said, my mother's name's Mari, Marie. Uh, you would have met her in June A. Yeah. And um, he said to me, listen, it's, it's a bit early in the morning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like father, like son. It's <laughs> fair enough. Let me, let me get back to you by the end of the day. And he, he rang me by, at, at the end of that day. He rang me back and he said, listen, I remember your mother. Yep. And he said, and I'll, I'll tell you one thing. It wasn't a one-night stand. He said, we actually dated for a while. Yep. Yep. And he said, I'm 99.9% sure I'm your dad. Oh, oh my your gosh. Your heart must have been racing, Brendan. It, it was. And where and it's, where was he, Brendan, uh, in relation to where you are? So I'm I'm in Springwood. He's in down at Port Cambler. Yep. 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 Not far. And um, not far. So then we, we sort of rang. We were going to organise the meet-up that weekend, but... Um, it, it didn't happen. We met up the following weekend, and I met him at Morellan. I met him halfway. Yeah. And and uh, he was already he, he got me there early. Yeah. The bugger. Nervous. So I thought I'll get here early and suss him out first. <laughs> and he, he he did that to me. And um, um, as soon as I pulled up and I was waiting, and I walked over to the car, and as soon as I saw his big noggin. Yeah. You knew. I knew straight away. There's Dad. Oh my gosh. So, so Brendan, did you embrace? Had a hug? Yeah, we had a uh, we had a little bit of a bloke hug, and I think there was a bit. You know, I I knew where I was at with it. Yep. But I I wasn't sure where where Dad was at with it, and I and I you know later we've been talking every day, and um he said to me, look, I, I thought someone was ringing me up with a prank. Yeah, Fitzy and Whipper. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Brendan, so. When you looked at him, you obviously knew that it was your dad. And then, where did the conversation go from there? Did you did you ask him why he hadn't tried to make contact? With, did he know about you prior to this? Did he suspect there was something like that out there? No, no. So um, apparently, mum, mum had just taken off. Yeah. 
mum left him and, and he never saw or heard of her again. Right, so ever she realised she was pregnant. So he would have been keen to stick around, Brennan? Yeah, he said if, he, if he'd known, um, he would have still been... Still been together. Well, well, why don't we ask your dad that question? Because we've got Philip on the line now. Phil, you there? Yeah, I am. Oh. Phil, this is a phenomenal story. Thank you for sharing it with Fitzy and Whipper in the audience here in Sydney. So, how old are you, Philip? Oh, 21. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Brendan's You've wit got too. Brendan's humour. <laughs> you had no idea that when your partner at the time, or Brendan's mum, left Mary. you, that, that she Mary. was Mary, which that she was pregnant. Nah. So you, there was no question. No. You never thought, oh, maybe I've got another kid out there. That wasn't on your mind. No. I like, as I said, I, I didn't even know. It wasn't a one-night stand. It, it, we were together for a while, and then she just up and gone. And so when you get this phone call, Philip, um, and I know that you needed a bit of time to take a deep breath and give Brendan a call back in the afternoon, but what, what was your emotion? What was going through your mind? I, as I said, I thought someone was having a yell at me, you know, and uh, mm. <laughs> I thought, well, get in line, like, get in the line. <laughs> That's what I said, get in the line. Yeah. Please tell me, what, what, when you saw Brendan, what, what was the emotion and the feelings that you had going on in your body? Well, for a start, mate, I thought I was better looking than him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay. Brendan wouldn't agree, but... They always resort to humour, yep. which is very good. But, you know, was there... No, I was uh, a bit emotional and, uh, like, it's... You haven't met anyone, you know, for 50 years. Yep. It comes into your life, so how do you expect the person to feel, you know? Yeah. Mm. Brendan, it, it must feel special, too, just to be able to say, Dad. Hey, Dad, how are you? Yeah. Yeah, it does because I've look I I've had that word before but I've never had the meaning to it. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Yeah. It's a very powerful word. And, it's a beautiful connection, mate. It is, and so I now I've I've you know, I'm saying that word and I've got that connection and you know, for me it's I, I think it really still hasn't hit home as yet. Mm. Um because I didn't know where I was where it was going. So I, well, I'm sort of, and I think Dad's the same. There, there's an uncharted ground, but I knew straight away, and um, you know, there was no, no uncomfortable pauses in conversation, and no. you know, m even my kids, um, Dad come down. I, I went down to um, Wherry Beach for a holiday for a week, and Dad not far from there. Dad come down and met the kids and, and met the wife, and great. Um, you know, he come down and. He, he, we were that good, mate. He came down twice, not the first time. It was either we were well good yep. or I cooked a, a mean barbecue because he came back twice. And uh, so the kids, my my kids now have pop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Brendan, uh, Brendan um, fantastic. Is, is mum still around, Brendan, or is she gone? No, mum, she's gone, mate. I never met her. Oh, and and I... Philip, just quickly, you never, ever heard from her again? Never. Gosh. Never. How has this fulfilled your life, Brendan? Like, can you tell us, is this the last piece of the puzzle for you? Like, how how's it made you feel? Uh, it is the last piece of the puzzle. I, I feel um, complete. Yeah. I feel, you know what, to take the call and to Great pursue story. it and, uh, and to give Brendan the time, because I would dare say there'd be a lot of parents out there that haven't had contact with kids they haven't seen for ages that just want to move on and not worry about it. So, Well, let's say true. That, that is so true. That is so true. Philip, Brendan. Hey, Brendan, thanks for sharing your story, buddy. I know this was big to do and appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. So, look, okay, fellas, son. Again, thank, thank you so much. Always, Brendo. Yeah, love you, Dad. And by the end of the day... By the end of the day, Dad. Yes, mate. <laughs> I'll ring you tonight. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, Tom. Love you. Love you, Dad. Bye, mate. God, that was magnificent, boys. Oh, jeez, yeah, that was good, Brendan. I'm, Thanks, guys. I'm welling up myself. Far out. Bit, bit, Bitsy and Whipper.